So I've been interested in horror for a long time now, mostly because I suck with it. There's an asterisk to that statement though, like most people, at least I think. I either find something absolutely horrifying or not scary at all. And you might be thinking then, well Connor, why do you think you suck of horror then? And there's a simple answer to that question. When I was a little kid, I was scared to Disney Channel. I'm not lying when I say I banned myself from watching TV in October for years because the commercials gave me nightmares. The worst show to me as a little kid was a show called My Babysitter's a Vampire, which the scariest thing about that show is when they hiss at the camera or a wolf howls in the background. My greatest fear back then was FNAF. FNAF was my first experience of so-called real horror, and it left an imprint on me. I played FNAF when it first came out, and it was the scariest thing to ever cross Lil Connor's eyes. And to this day, I still haven't beaten it. I think the main thing that gets me is the atmosphere. The first FNAF crafts the perfect atmosphere to the point where I think I scare myself more than the game really does. I perfectly understand how the game works, but I can't help myself but just have the doors down constantly whenever I play it. These days, I've gotten a little better for her. I can now confidently watch Disney Channel without crying myself to sleep. Thank you very much. I've experimented with horror in the last year or two more than I ever have. I've watched a few horror movies and I've played a few horror games. And in conclusion, I completely overhyped horror for myself. I watched Jigsaw, but I don't really know if that counts as a horror movie because the scariest thing about that movie is its Rotten Tomato score. Bird Box is another horror movie that I watched that I had a hard time trying not to fall asleep watching. I found that the idea of these movies are usually scarier than the actual movie itself. I don't want to call these movies bad because they have good aspects to them, but they aren't really the scariest. I can't really talk though because I avoid movies that I know will scare me. But who cares about movies? We're here for the video games. This is a video game theming channel, mostly. I'm going to talk about the games that are like actually scary before I get to the mid ones. Starting off with FNAF VR, and in my 5 hours of playtime, I've managed to beat the repair levels and one night of FNAF 1. Playing FNAF VR is literally throwing me into my childhood nightmare, and the last time I played it, well, bunny. WHAT?! <laughs> the only other game that's really got me is SCP Lab Rat, which is a game where you're thrown in a dark lab with a bunch of different creatures everywhere that want to kill you. And all you have is a flash to defend yourself, so basically run for your life. The main villain looks like a peanut though, so that makes it a little easier. Unfortunately, now we have to talk about the games that just don't do it for me. The first one pains me to say, but Little Nightmares just isn't scary. Don't get me wrong, I really like it, but it isn't scary. I describe it more as a horror theme platformer. To give it credit though, there were certain points that made me uncomfortable. Duck Season is another fun game that tried to be scary, but I kind of ruined it for myself by watching Let's Play before I played it. The ending still got me though. <clears throat> Bendy and the Ink Machine wasn't scary except for the jump scares, and that doesn't count. It's mostly just a walking simulator, and Hello Neighbor just made me upset by how broken it was. I just made every single 8 year old watching this video upset. I played the Bigfoot game, and I think it's supposed to be scary. It was more just fun, but that's only because I played it with a friend, and everything's more fun of a friend. I want to end off this video positively though, so I'm going to talk about Left 4 Dead 2, which it isn't scary, but that's, it's not really trying to be. It's more of like, kind of just set in a zombie apocalypse. It's, it's really fun though, you should play it. If you want to know the scariest horror you'll ever find, it's quite simple. Go onto YouTube and look up animated horror stories and click on the worst thumbnail you can find. They're so scary that you'll just laugh the entire time. And I do this all the time over my Twitch channel. I have nothing else to do. Twitch.tv slash CPI underscore. Go subscribe. And I guarantee 99% of the stories are fake, but at least they're entertaining. If you want some good YouTube horror, you can find it. I personally find the channels where they read the stories the best, but there's a bunch of types. But I've yet to mention the scariest thing. And that is only 32% of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so like and subscribe.